Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, my dear Zebrip, to In Language Schools. Today, we will talk about factorizing the perfect square trinomial and factorizing the difference between two squares. In the next video, we will talk about factorizing the perfect square trinomial and factorizing the difference between two squares. وقبل ما نبدا شرح درسنا النهارده ما تنسوش تشتركوا في القناه وتفعلوا الجرس عشان توصلكوا اشعارات بجميع الدروس اللي هتنزل لتاني اعدادي ترم تاني وكمان المراجعات وبالتوفيق ليكم ويلا بينا نبدا شرح درسنا النهارده Our first lesson today: factorizing perfect square trinomial. يعني إيه perfect square trinomial؟ وإزاي نقدر نحدد إن trinomial اللي قدامنا ده عبارة عن perfect square؟ وإزاي ممكن نعمل له factorization؟ ده اللي هنعرفه دلوقتي حالاً من خلال ال example اللي قدام حضرات كده. اللي قدامنا دلوقتي x power 4 minus 10x squared times y plus 25y squared. This is a trinomial. Look at the first term here. The first term here is a perfect square. And the third term is also a perfect square. But the middle term is the root of the first term times the root of the third term times 2. So, in the perfect square trinomial, each of the first and the third terms are perfect squares. And the middle term equals positive or negative square root of the first term times square root of the third term. This is perfect square. So how can we factorize perfect square? We can factorize perfect square trinomial as a brackets. The root of the first term, positive or negative, this is the sign of the middle term. Here is a negative sign, so we will put negative sign. If is if the sign in the middle term is positive, we will put here positive sign. The root of the third term all power two. That we can factorize the perfect square trinomial. So pay attention. We can note that if you have a highest common factor between terms, you must take out the highest common factor f exists. If you have a highest common factor between terms, you must at first take out the highest common factor. And you must order the terms descendingly according to the exponents of one variable. So maybe it doesn't order. According to the exponents of one variable. Okay, determine which of the following trinomial expressions is a perfect square, then factorize it in the form of perfect square. The first one, 16x bar 2 minus 40x plus 25. Look at the first term, 16x bar 2 equals. 4x all power 2, so the first term is a perfect square. What about the third term? 25 equals 5 power 2, so also the third term is a perfect square. So the first and the third terms are perfect squares. What about the middle term? If we multiply 4x by 5 by 2, we will have 40x. 2 times 4x times 5 equals 40x, the middle term. So this is a perfect square trinomial. We can write the expression as the root of the first term minus this negative sign, like the sign of the middle term, the root of the third, the root of the third term, all power 2. كل اللي احنا عملناه ان احنا جبنا الروت للحد الاول والروت للحد الاخير وخدنا الساين الاشاره بتاعه الميدل تيرم الحد الاوسط وما ننساش ان كل ده بيكون عباره عن باور 2 او وي ويل ملتبلاي 4x 5 باي اتسلف 4x 5 تايمز 4x 5 
Another example determine which of the following trinomial expressions is a perfect square, then factorize it in the form of perfect square. Okay. L power 2 minus 4 L minus 4. Hmm. It isn't a perfect square. Why? Because the third term is a negative sign. The third term was negative sign, so it isn't a perfect square. 36 a power 2 minus 48 ap plus 16 b power 2. Okay, the first term is a perfect square because 36 a power 2 equals 6a times 6a. 16 b power 2, which is the third term, is a perfect square because 16 b power 2 equals 4b times 4b. What about the middle term? When we multiply 6a by 4b by 2, we will have 48ab. So this expression is a perfect square trinomial. The first term is a perfect square, the third term is a perfect square, and the middle term equals the root of the first times the root of the third times 2, which is 48ab. The first and the third terms are perfect squares, and the middle term equals 2 times 6a times 4b equals 48ab, so the expression is the root of the first, Minus, like the sign of the middle term, the root of the third all power 2. 6a minus 4b all power 2. Now use factorization to evaluate 574 all power 2 minus 2 times 574 times 573 plus 573 all power 2. Okay. You can say the first term is a perfect square, number power 2 is a perfect square, and the third term is a positive sign for number power 2, which is a perfect square. The middle term is 2 times the root of the first and the root of the third. So the expression is a perfect square, and we can factorize it like the root of the first minus the root of the third because the sign of the middle term is negative sign so we will say 574 minus 573 all power 2 which is 1 power 2 equals 1 now factorize each of the following expressions m power 2 minus 2m plus 1 the expression can factorize, we can factorize this expression as m minus 1 all power 2. The sign of the middle term is negative, so we can write a negative sign here. And we can take the root of the first, which is m, the root of the third, which is 1, and write all power 2. What about b, the second one? Here we have 9x power 2 plus 12x plus 4. Is it a perfect square trinomial? 9x bar 2 equals 3x times 3x. Well done. 4 equals 2 times 2. What about the middle term? When we multiply 2 by 3x by 2, we will have 12x. So this is a perfect square trinomial. We can factorize it as the root of the first term plus the root of the third term all times 2. All power 2. We put a positive sign here because the sign of the middle term is a positive sign. What about the third question? We must order these terms descendingly according to the highest power for the variable. So, we will order it as 25k power 2 minus 60k plus 36. Now we can factorize it easily because the first term is a perfect square, the third term is a perfect square, and the middle term equals the root of the first times the root of the third times 2. We can factorize 25k power 2 minus 60k plus 36 as 5k minus 6 all power 2.
Our second lesson today is factorizing the difference of two squares. The algebraic expression x power 2 minus y power 2 is called the difference of two squares because the first one is a perfect square and the last one is a perfect square. And here we have negative sign, so this is a difference between two squares. The difference of two quantities, the sum of the two quantities times the difference of two quantities. So we can factorize x bar 2 minus y bar 2 as x plus y times x minus y. The sum of the two quantities times the difference of the two quantities. Use factorization to evaluate. Use factorization to evaluate 77 bar 2 minus 23 bar 2. Here we have number bar 2 minus another number bar 2. So we can use factorizing difference squares 77 minus 23 times 77 plus 23 times 77 plus 23. So 77 minus 23, 77 minus 23 equals 54, 77 plus 23 equals 100, 54 times 100 equals 5,400. 8.27 all power 2 minus 1.23 all power 2. We can use factorizing difference of two squares, 8.27 plus 1.23 times 8.27 minus 1.23. The first one equals 9.5 and the second one equals 7.04. So we will multiply 9.5 by 7.04, which is 66.88. Factorize each of the following expressions if possible. X bar 2 minus 4. We can factorize it as x minus 2 times x plus 2. This is a difference between two squares. x bar 2 is a square and 4 is a square. x bar 2 is equals x times x. 4 equals 2 times 2. So we can factorize this difference of two squares. x minus 2 times x plus 2. The second one is we can factorize 9 minus y power 2 as 3 minus y times 3 plus y. 9 equals 3 times 3. y power 2 equals y power y. Equals y times y. What about negative 9 x power 2 plus 25? We can write it as 25 minus 9 x power 2 and say that the factorization equals 5 minus 3 x times 5 plus 3 x. What about 8x bar 2 minus 50? Firstly, we must take out the highest common factor. Here we have highest common factor between these two terms. We will divide both terms by 2. We will take out 2 from both terms. So, take out the highest common factor, which is 2. And the rest terms is 4x bar 2 minus 25. Now we can factorize 4x bar 2 minus 25 as a difference of two squares. Don't forget to write 2, the highest common factor. Then multiply 2x minus 5 by 2x plus 5. Another example, a power 2 minus b power 2 c power 2. Here we can factorize it as a difference of two squares, a minus bc times a plus bc. The last one, x bar 100 minus 1. We can factorize it as x bar 50 minus 1 times x bar 50 plus 1. Because when we multiply the same bases, we add powers. Now, if x power 2 minus y power 2 equals 20 and x plus y equals 10, then find the value of x minus y. 
You know that x power 2 minus y power 2 equals x plus y times x minus y. So if you want to find the value of x minus y, you will divide the value of x power 2 minus y power 2 by x plus y. So we will divide 20 by 10, which is 2. So the value of x minus y equals 2. What about the second question? If L minus M equals 9 and L plus M equals 15, then find the value of the expression, then find the value of the expression L power 2 minus M power 2. You know that L power 2 minus M power 2 equals L plus M times L minus M. And if you want to calculate L power 2 minus M power 2, you must multiply L minus M by L plus M. Multiply 9 by 15. L power 2 minus M power 2 equals 135. What about the last question? 4x power 2 minus y power 2 equals negative 32 and 2x plus y equals 8. Then find the value of the expression y minus 2x. y minus 2x, okay. 4x power 2 minus y power 2 equals 2x plus y times 2x minus y. Here we have the value of 4x power 2 minus y power 2 and the value of 2x plus y. So we can calculate the value of 2x minus y. 2x minus y equals negative 32 over 8, which is negative 4. But he wants to get the value of y minus 2x, not 2x minus y. So we will change the sign of the result. y minus 2x equals positive 4, not negative. Now factorize each of the following expressions. The first expression, x plus y plus 5 all power 2. Minus x minus y minus 5 all power 2. How can we factorize it? Here we have the first term x plus y plus 5. So we can multiply x plus y plus 5 by x plus y plus 5 and both positive sign and negative sign. And write the second term which is x minus y minus 5. Write it here in the first brackets and write it here in the second brackets. Don't forget to multiply it with negative sign. اللي بنعمله ان احنا بناخد الحد الاولاني اللي هو باور 2 ده ونوزعه على الاثنين من الاقواس وبناخد الحد الثاني اللي هو x minus y minus 5 ونوزعه على اثنين من الاقواس وما ننساش ان اشارة الاقواس بتكون واحدة بوزيتيف وواحدة نيجاتيف وفي حالة ان في نيجاتيف ساين هتضرب عندي في مجموعة من الحدود يبقى انا لازم احطوهم في قوس كده لان الاشارة دي هتضرب في كل الحدود اللي موجودة داخل هذا القوس هنبدأ نجمع ونحذف اي عدد والعدد المختلف معه في الاشارة x plus y plus 5 plus x minus y. Here we have positive y and negative y, so cancelled. Positive 5 and negative 5, so cancelled. x plus x equals 2x. What about the second brackets? Here we have x plus y plus 5 minus x plus y plus 5, which is 2y plus 10. So 2x times 2y plus 10 equals 4xy plus 20x. The second equation is a plus b plus c all power 2 minus a minus b minus c all power 2. Okay, we can use factorizing the difference of two squares. Write a plus b plus c here and a plus b plus c here. Both positive sign and negative sign. Write the second term, which is a minus b minus c, and write it between two brackets here because it will multiply by negative sign. Now we have a plus a equals 2a, b negative b cancelled, c negative c cancelled, so 2a times a plus b plus c negative a plus b plus c, which is 2b plus 2c. 2a times 2b equals 4ab. 2a times 2c equals 4ac. Now we get the end of our lesson today. See you in next lesson, inshallah, with all my best wishes. Shayma, Saeed.